Bonjour and welcome to a new unboxing video and, and, and today I've got actually I've got a big box uh, I've got a big box that it, it comes from from uh, Hasbro and uh, it does say that it is a uh, Marvel Legend gear Hammerhead I have absolutely no clue what that is and it, it does have a shelf deck as well which is weird so I'm, I'm wondering if it's something to do with one of the Marvel movie or maybe Star Wars I don't know uh, it, it's probably something Marvel uh, is, uh, I do get some Marvel stuff from them. Ooh. Actually, it's a very, very nice surprise, and you will understand why it's a big box. It's going to be a bit difficult to, to open uh, because they always pack those boxes very, very, very tight. And if you haven't seen uh, the Avengers Endgame movie, uh, you may want to turn away now because uh, otherwise, you you might be spoiled but even though i mean it's been a long time so you should know all about it because this is actually the power gauntlet from avengers endgame so you know it is the uh, the new uh, well infinity cutlet that the 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 the, the, the superheroes made that tony stark creates and that is used uh, in 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 the movie so so we're going to open it so this is the box on one side and uh, this is the box on the other side and this is the box on the third side and on the fourth side in case any of you want to see the top i mean this way you've seen absolutely everything there is you know what do they say it is an articulated electronic fist that sounds good uh, and it does light have light and sound and what do they say? Because there is the the tech thing. It says that it has a, a pulsating stone glow. Um, it has a fist lock display mode um, and uh, moving inspired sound effects and articulated fingers. So, so we're going to try and open this. Uh, as you can see, it's a big box. So, and I'm sure I'm going to need. Uh, batteries but for once i'm ready i'm ready i've got batteries here and i've got a screwdriver so i won't have to go around all over the place to try and find a screwdriver because knowing my luck i've taken a, a, a cross a screwdriver and it's going to be a regular screwdriver but i doubt it usually most of the toys nowadays are using a, a, a cross uh screwdriver you know the, the phillips style um and we're going to try and open all that those boxes are always <laughs> One thing to know, uh, to say about Hasbro product uh, is that they always try and pack as well as you can. You can see there's a huge amount of cardboard in there. Uh, so let's, uh, actually it might be a bit more easy to get. Well, fat chance of that happening. <laughs> and uh, so here you go, I'm going to try and remove the bit of cardboard that's at the end because the thingy are blocked and just drink. Why are those things always so complicated? Mind you, to be honest, I, I, I've had uh, more difficult Marvel Legends boxes to, to open. I'm just getting what's at the bottom of the box. Uh, so that's the, the battery uh, thingy and more battery thingy and of course what is very important is the instruction because otherwise it's very difficult to find where you actually put all the batteries and stuff so we do have the instruction and here is the thing i mean that's big uh it's about as big as the uh it is actually as big as the infinity gauntlet one so basically uh it looks like it's working exactly like the infinity gauntlet so as you can see uh hopefully you do have some uh little oops uh and uh, uh the loops and normally what you do is you you put all your fingers through the hoops and basically when the when you're doing that, you can actually use uh, your finger to manipulate the, the thing. Well, this one is a bit stuck. Yeah, it does get stuck. There must be, because if I remember well, there was actually a button to lock things into place. Ah, that's better. Uh, I can, yes, 
now that's working better because basically if you remember because it's really done very similarly to um, to the Infinity Cutlet that they have done uh, for uh, Infinity War uh, for Thanos, uh, it works very similarly. So you can actually do, play with the fingers. And uh, if you want, you have like this thing that you can basically, if you fold everything and you lock, it's supposed to actually keep the uh, the glove in a lock position like this, so that you can actually uh, display it. So it's actually very nice. Uh, I think it's actually really nicely detailed. Uh, I'm actually, I, I like the inside of, uh, I wish this was like more rubberized because it's just plastic, but it looks like it's a rubber piece. And it's actually very, very nice. I, I'm actually wondering if I don't like it better than the Infinity Cutlet. So uh, now we're going to try and find where we put the batteries because of course, you all want to see it work, so the batteries are probably going there. So, yeah, so basically, you remove this huge bit, and you do have the battery uh, compartment. So, we're going to try and see. And uh, basically, you remove the thing, and you do have the place for three batteries. So, I hope I have the correct batteries. It does say that they are double A, so that. We're going to put that back on and that's where we're going to realize that the whole thing doesn't work. So, uh, so this is actually, yeah, you do have some notch at the top and then it clicks. It's supposed to click into place. So that's actually not really the, the best way. And now we're going to see if it works. Uh, Actually, it's very interesting because if you remember the, uh, I was sort of expecting that the the, the, the noises would be uh, more like uh, if I unlock this, that's better. So now it's a question of finding all the holes for the fingers. The thumb, the thumb one is actually the difficult. Ah. So basically, as you can see, so you can. I I do like the noise of this one. So here we here we go. That's the the the, the foam thing. So of course it works. If you press a second time, it's supposed to switch off. I suppose. No, no, it doesn't switch off. Hmm. There must be a way to switch it off. Let me check because the, the, you do have a, some instructions. So if there is instruction, it must say to lock in 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 a fist mode to move the articulation electronic glove. And let me check if I'm forgetting something. To put the thingy to activate sounds and light. So basically, you do have two things. If you do like a short pose, you do have what they say is there is a short sequence of uh, noise. And it switches off automatically, I suppose, after a while. And that, I do like... I do like the noises that it does. It, it really makes very very and I, I didn't touch anything but it's making noise so that's the short version and if you press more it's supposed to be uh, a long uh, effect uh, actually it looks like I mean I don't know if you can see it but it's no, there's no... I was wondering if there was any it. But basically, so that's supposed to be the longer version. I do like the, the, the noises. I actually, I think the, 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 the noise are actually much better uh, than on, on, on the Infinity Gauntlet. So that's really good. So here you go. Uh, this is the... Uh, what is it called? The Power Gauntlet. The Power Gauntlet um, uh, from uh, Marvel... 
Avengers, uh, Marvel Legends, uh, Avengers uh, Endgame. And uh, it's actually a very, very cool uh, product by Hasbro, new Marvel Legends. Uh, really, really good. I'm very, very glad. And now I'm going to play with it and I will leave you to it. Bye!